Hello everyone, and welcome back to Nomad's Land here for Survival Roleplay. We are just picking up some of the produce from our greenhouses. So we've picked up all the sunflower over here. And I think these are potatoes. So with these we're going to have to use the big back hander because they're quite heavy. Fortunately the tomatoes and lettuce are light enough for us to lift by ourselves, so we'll do those last. Actually how much do these weigh? Oh, a ton. Can we try to get... Can we try the four? We've got a 2.3 ton at the rear. So we may be able to... Yeah, maybe perhaps squeeze four packs on at once. Oh, we'll give it a try anyways. But yeah, so in today's episode, we've got a few things to do. We've got harvesting of the canola to do. And actually, speaking of that, we've got canoe, we've got soybeans. And we've got actually sunflower here. Well, we'll sell this sunflower here, but I'm going to keep all of these produce because we're making a lot of money from the silage in that. And apparently, there is rumours of a some form of biodiesel plant being made. Well, in production, and we can potentially buy some components of it, and then we can use that to make our own diesel. Because so if we look at prices at the moment, so we'll go in our little PD here. If we go to where is it to? Not productions. Prices. Let's see how much fuel's going for at the moment. So diesel, at the moment, is selling for. £2,275 per thousand years. Whether or not when we get the bio diesel where it be the same price, where it'll be more, where it'll be less. Let's say if it stays the same. The cost of the plant itself is £170. Grand. There's options like we can put in a petrol station in for £26.5. Grand. And also there's a even a dedicated cell place we could potentially export it to. Potentially, we'll have a look at that at some point. And of course, there's a cost of the transport. So, also with diesel, you need a specific trailer to be able to transport it. And the small one, which will hold 8,000 litres, is 25 grand. Or the big, like, semi one, semi tanker, is 32,000 litres at 68 grand. So, let's say if we go with the plant itself. And the small trailer, because we can make multiple trips. We're looking at the best part of 200 grand there. I don't think we'll need a petrol station. We'll use that money to invest into the local community. So we're looking at 225 grand. And uh, we've got how much? Actually, how much storage have we got? How much? <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, that is a lot. So we're going to get like 348. Let's say 360,000 litres just for the sake of it. Price of silage. So we're going to get like, hold on, let's say 100, in, 100 grand. 100, 110, 120 grand. What we have to do is do this twice. So. This is in the first growth state now. If we wait until August or September, let's say September, come the fall, we can work, we can put a pre-order in soon. Let's, yeah, I think we'll do that. Then we can start to make bio diesel because they require. Okay, okay, that doesn't like that. Okay, basically four tons at once. Well, that's a bit of a stretch. Uh, stick with just the two. So yeah, potentially we can make a lot of money just from the production and selling of biofuel. Can we squeeze? Nope. Got too fat of a tire. <laughs> but yeah, so if you can do that, obviously that means the farming ain't gonna have much income in over the coming months. Dang it. Why don't I put these so close together? I should have. What did the contractors at like the local community? Yes, I know they did for free of cost in that. 
But at least they could off, like, put things into considerations. Oh well. To see it. Oh. Blah. Okay, we need to smash some um, robots out. <laughs> but yeah, with mining that, we've got the mulching of the. Oh yeah, we've got timber we can sell. How much are we going to get from that? I have totally forgot about Derek and the sawmill. So potentially, let's go up here. Uh, planks. We have to sell some soon. Because we provided a bulk load of wood. So, yeah. I think our money situation is going to be really good very soon. A lot sooner than expected, so. But yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll continue on getting all this loaded up. I'm going to make a few phone calls. And uh, just see about showing our interest. We'll give them a rough showing off. Well, just a rough channel of phone off. How much farm is making currently? What's our forecast over the next quarter in there? And then um, potentially, because we're not going to take out a loan or anything. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, we need to pay the loan off as well. How much have we got the loan left? 95 grand? I thought we paid 5 grand of that off already for down to 90 grand. Oh well, yeah. I'm going to continue on this. And... Um, yeah, I'll get on this and we'll simply go from there, folks. <laughs> oh dear. Deary, deary, dear. So, alrighty then. We had to do a little quick interjection here because we got our potatoes and all that loaded up, including the eggs. We at, at the time, I didn't really want to sell the eggs, but I thought, heck, let's go sell them now. Uh, and M shop because the planks over there. Being neatly organised already, that's why I bought the John Deere up here. Pick up, I bought the eggs up there, because I initially wasn't going to sell the eggs, but I thought, heck it, sell them. Because all of these, well, most of these will sell at M, M Shop. And whatever doesn't sell here will be sold at the farm shop, along with the planks. Yep, the planks we could sell up here, however, we just don't get as much profit. Like, we're looking at an extra 50 to 100 quid per thousand years here with what we've got here and a similar percentage margin with the planks so I think the planks were about 250 quid or so a thousand years so in hindsight may not be the most price difference but okay we may not sell everything just because of where the trick point is Something sorted here. So, already that is 19 grand we've made. There we go. I'm guessing we can't sell the sunflower here or anything. So that's all that sold. Well, I'm should be able to sell these. So, wait a minute, that's sunflower and potatoes have been sold. Oops. Nothing to see there. Hopefully, Aunt Emma isn't looking. These strawberries are in nice condition, they're perfect. Nothing to see here. Well, it's taken some of the potatoes, so perhaps we're just not over the trigger point far enough. So I guess it's just some fire it doesn't take. By the looks of it, that seems to be the case. Oh, come on, let's get to... Where 
There is a potato stair somewhere. I think it's too far up to get, so... You know what, that's fine. We'll not go over to shops to sell everything, container. Actually, sunflower. Where is the best place to sell sunflower to? We'll have a little look here. Yeah, farm shop is the best. Only buy 40 quid or so, but... So you know what, I'm going to take these over here and I'll bring you back in the next second here. When we go ahead and pick up the pallets or planks. So there we go, that is another £7,400. So already we're at forty two grand, And that's not even with the planks loaded up, so... I am cautiously optimistic, so yeah, I think in the whole diesel production, not a half bad thing. Not a half bad idea, I think, to be honest. It sort of makes sense now we can make our own fuel, be self sustained on that. Oh, there's another pallet that has spawned up. So we've got 17 pallets of planks. So we should make some hefty change from this. Obviously Derek's going to take his little cut from this, so we do have to bear that in mind. I think it's something like a 10% cut or something he gets. And I have to square that with him. So I can't recall, so it's been a couple of months since we last sold a load of planks, so memories fit a bit fuzzy at this time. Especially in the heat and that, so if you hear your the fans blowing, that is just the AC on, but it's absolutely very hot today in these man's hands. What is the temperature at the moment? Oh yeah, nice toasty 28 degrees Celsius, so we do have the AC cranked up. Perhaps we should consider opening some windows or doors on the tractor, but yeah, I think nah, why not just leave it there. I'm just going to roughly place these on because we do need to make space for other stuff, so you know what? Let's go and shrink these down. And now let's go and grab the rest. And just like that, we are loaded up. So 17,000 euros of plank, so let's go see how much money we'll make from this. That is rapidly selling. So that is 44 grand, so if Derek takes his, what, 10 or 20% cut, let's say 20% worst case scenario, that is 8,800 quid, so, actually what, I'll just speak to Derek quickly and square that up and then we'll conjure back at the farm, conjure, adjourn, we'll meet up back at the farm is what I'm trying to say, and yeah, so, Ooh, what's that? Derek's got a... well, at least that is yards. He's got a nice little tricks there. Hmm, Derek must be making some money to be able to afford this. Ooh, look at those teeth. Apparently he's been using it, you can tell by the paintwork he's always chipped off out of it. Not too bad. Actually, I think Derek may have bought that used or something. Because they're very expensive and new, so... Don't get me wrong, the Derek's been making a lot of money in that. For selling all the byproducts like saw me on and all that. He just doesn't sell the planks to us. Or give us the planks. Well, we pay, we'll pay him a service fee, we give him the timber, he just goes in, chump the big logs. And then makes them into little planks for us to sell, so... I don't mind going that way for me, let's go this way. But yeah, so we'll meet the hat pack of the farm, as I was trying to say earlier on. And then we'll go from there, I think. But yeah, I should want to yeah, need to speak to Derek a sec, so yeah. We'll meet back at the farm, and then we'll go and start the harvest, I think. So, alrighty then. We spoke to Derek, we gave him six six hundred quid, so he won just a fifteen percent of what we've pretty
very much got. As a little service fee, which, what to be honest, I'm fine paying that. And you see me being a bit creepy with this, because we spent their money on this baby. We bought ourselves a Kubota XTS446 sprayer. And I think this is what cost it, like 27 grand? Yeah, something like 27 grand. We pay an extra, I think, 8 or 10 grand for the boom, so it's like a 32 meter working width. 32 meter working width. It came with the 15,000 litre tank, and see, it's a bit use. 26.2 hours. Obviously, a bit worn in that. And I don't know, I just got went to shop and bought the fertilizer from there. I'm not sure how much farm the was going to charge us, so I just bought some here at the shop. They're giving us a nice good deal here, so who am I to complain? But yeah, 15,000 euros, that would have just gone a long way. We don't have 50,000 euros of fertilizer here. I think we've got something like 10,500 euros, so. But yeah, this is going to make all the difference for us now. We needed a fertilizer sprayer. And this ain't the half bad way of doing things. Especially it's Kubota, we pretty much kept it standard for what it came with initially on offer. We did opt out to change the colour of the top of the boom arm. And just see where I'm pointing there. Changed those to black, they were orange initially. Uh, with rims, I kept it silver, that sort of metallic silver, just to add a bit of contrast to that. So let's go ahead and get this all loaded up. Hopefully we can be able to pull this with the John Deere. If not, we're going to have to get the chip turing out. I think the chip turing is a good tractor, don't get me wrong. It's not how you have regrets buying it. The only downside for me personally of buying those kind of tractors is the swivel axle. I'm not a big fan of swivel axle tractors. That's just me personally, but yeah, no. But anyways, we'll make do of it, and also, yeah, obviously once we're in the position where we're making a ton of money, month after month, year after year, then we can perhaps look at something, I know, let's go and just get something random, I don't know, let's go, and yeah, something, well, not new, not as big as those, something yeah, like a massive Ferguson, for the horsepower, a quarter of a mil, 8700 8, or 807 quarter of a mil but yeah even stuff like Defend Vario's yeah it's just something I don't mind having but yeah so I think there's about yeah 10,000 a year so I will pay the money to service it here now I'm not going to pay for the paint job I am paid for paint jobs so far and not planning on to anytime soon Obviously we can do the fertilizing tomorrow. Obviously we need to get the grass oh no, sorry. Grass needs fertilizing today. Get ahead of myself here, Envoy. And yeah, so that needs to do today. We'll do that at the end of the episode. We need to get the harvesting done first of all, because we're already quite a bit waiting into this episode and not a lot has happened so far. We've just gone sold a few bits, we bought a piece of equipment. And that is it. So yeah, ten thousand five hundred litres. How much is it going to cost us to service it? Well, no. Yeah, well, it was going to service everything. Only 700 quid. The tractor and all the front loader tools cost more than that, so. Not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. Not as bad. So yeah, we're going to take this and our new Kubota. Is it Kubota? No, Kubota. Uh, what is it? Have a look here. Yeah, Kubota, yeah. Actually, I've, I've seen these quite locally as well. I've seen them out and about as well. Obviously not here, we don't have any farms here, but like on the main roads and that, cars going past, I've seen the odd little tractor here and there. I even saw someone 
not towing, I'm holding a, what was it? I think it was a little skid steer caboose version. I think there is quite a few variants of this. I know they do a tractor, it goes up to 200 horsepower, so that's 25 more in this. But the cost of that with the upgrade engine is like 170 grand, and I was even need a quarter of a meal to get the diesel production in, but who knows? If we own the diesel production outright, we can keep all the profits. The difference is, yes, we've decided we are keeping all the profits technically, but that's just more of a. Well, we'll pay the maintenance fees of it, we do pay the running costs. I am luckily we're, yeah, we don't get any like service additional charges where they say, well, we want 10% off your profit and that, or keep 10% of the crop, or in this case, it's silage, or it could be the grass and that you may keep, so. Yeah, just a lot to think about. <sighs> yeah. Actually, it's a good thing about having this like, long cruise back to the farm, it's just, it makes you ponder things in life. All we need to put narrows in this. These do come with narrows, I think. I think so. Are they narrows or are they normal tires? Should have checked. Perhaps when well, I'm going to bolt this, so. We'll go and park this up somewhere here. And do we have any more stuff growing? Got another, was it strawberries over there? But regardless, back into the combine for the second time. Turn on the engine. Make sure it's all unfolded. But yeah, I am really seriously thinking, again with the diesel and that, just go ahead and keep it. And even with the sunflower we're growing at the moment, I think we may keep that and this field here. This would be... because we've got sorghum grown there. We've done corn already for silage. I'm just thinking what else could we do? Sugar beet perhaps? I know the harvesting process is going to be quite expensive if we went all big and all new equipment, but there is a little mini harvester which chops it up and dumps it on the ground. Oh, wait a minute. Soybeans ready to harvest? What? Are you ready to harvest? Oh boy, I thought it was just the canoe that was ready to harvest. Uh, wait a minute, let's check our PDA here. Oh. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Fair enough. I thought canoe, I thought soybeans were ready to harvest tomorrow. But yeah, I'm guessing I'm wrong. Oh yeah. And we're harvesting for the first time this year. And um, we can't get straw from canoe though. Last thing as well, straw. Again, we can buy the bells and now, we can buy all the components for TMR to get the cows. That's just thing, just so many things we want to do is just figure out when's the best place to buy. I think, as well as expanding the chicken coop, that ain't a half bad option for us. No, I mean, seriously, that ain't a half bad option. Oops, bit of a stump there. Oh, I think there's a stump. Oops. <laughs> Ugh. Really, I should, shouldn't have leave that running because if that thing actually sips into drive, or worst of all, reverse, if these things run in, it be a very bad accident. Good thing health and safety ain't around to see us. <laughs> but they will have a heyday. <laughs> yeah, heyday of us being irresponsible. That's the thing, we're doing it ourselves. We don't have any workers here. We do have the options of having locals coming in. Of course, if they come in, we'll make sure they are very health and safety aware of that. But just me, the man has and his own machine, the man is combine. What I do is what I do. I'm not responsible for anyone else. I'm responsible for myself. So. 
Definitely, I think you can feel stop here a sec. Turn the engine off, because we're already a thousand litres of Canuda. Any better combines popped up yet? Nope. But yeah, what I was thinking about with the chickens, I may have shown this in the last episode. Go into the shop menu here. Go to chickens. I think 120 gram you can get this baby. Got 5,000 litres of, not 5,000 litres of chickens. But that's going to be, that's quite huge. Does it suit the area? Absolutely not, but... Am I... Yeah, I'll literally overtake... You. Or he... I think we could buy this. That's absolutely massive. I'm really just tempted to just say... Keep this. Just keep, keep what we've had. You know what? Okay, let's go ahead and buy another one. Uh, what else do we need to do? Also, we need to put feed in. We need to get chickens for that. Actually, I think whilst we're here, uh, have different variations of chicken cubes. Yeah, I think. Yeah, heck it. Why not? So you're there, you will go somewhere like there. So there we go, lots of nice chicken coops in. That was a bit of a random build there, a random buy, but I think double down on that. What about sheep? What we can get for sheep? Way too expensive. 35 grand, 65 grand. I think 65 grand for what's that, 80 sheep? That ain't a half bad deal. Again, we can have a free range open pen for the sheep, but yeah, I think you're just having something. Yeah, I'll, I'll like to have that, but. But yeah, if we do get sheep in that, I'm thinking something like that. I may have to do some landscaping on this dirt path here, but... I think, yeah, no, we're, gonna save, we're saving up for the diesel in that. We are, don't worry. But having something like that... Yes, we're going to do some of this grass field, but I've always said... We're going to sacrifice this, and it may be the case where... Sort of this bit down get sacrificed and this becomes a you know like a little mini field obviously at the moment it's slightly merging there I know I'm aware of that but yeah potentially yeah we can just heck it I'm thinking this could be sugar beet yeah I think that could be our sugar beet field this could be our little animals area what about cows Oh no, I'm sorry, we, we were going to... Nope. Nope. Yeah. I... <laughs> That's my reaction there, nope. Uh, yeah. Cows are big, folks. Cows are big. So yeah, back to harvesting. We've got quite a bit to do, and we have wasted a lot of time here, so you know what? I'm going to continue on this, and I'll see you folks in a short while. It's going to take us a couple of hours to get this all done. Let's go. Oh. What's happening there? There we go. May have actually not hit the wrong switch and lifted the header up, but anyways. So yep, we are 20% full now. Gonna to need to get the trailer very soon here. And yep, I will continue on this and see you folks in a short while. There we go. 
It's all good with that saying we couldn't harvest that area there for a second, I did freak me out, but yeah. Get a little bit of extra time here because of actually falling asleep in that, and yeah, we worked until like what like three, four in the morning doing the harvesting. Ah, dang it, really hate this transmission. <laughs> Come on, getting shifted into high gear. Nope, nope, just not. You know, with automatic transmission, it does not want to shift into high gear for some weird reason. That's the only downside of this tractor is that. So we'll go and adjust you. There we go, that's better. But yeah, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted there by my transmission again. We well, was up until about four in the morning doing the harvesting. Got everything done. All the so soybeans are done. Is not hit sorghum. There we go. So yeah, we did hire a worker in that. Obviously, as we were talking about health and safety not too long ago, and then we hired a worker, so we had to make sure we had health and safety in place. But yeah, so that's, that's 8,000 years off soybeans. There we go. And if we have a look, so we've got 53,000 litres of soybeans, and of course 15,000 litres of canola, so I think the canola we will sell, yeah I think we'll sell that, soybeans we'll keep because we could go with some fuel, because there is a diesel um, point as we looked at previously. However, since then, there has been an ethanol plant that we could potentially purchase for about 80 grand for the building itself and then for the 
Trader's about 25, 30 grand on top of that, so it's a bit of a cheaper option. Funny enough, it is by Schultz Modding. So the same bloke who does the cell containers. He said he's got an ethanol plant. Ah, man. Look at all these spuds. Woohoo! But yeah, as you can see, mine's gone down. That is because we've gone and bought the chickens. However, we need to sell the canola straight away because we need chicken feed for. I think it's this one here that needs chicken feed. Yeah, they've run out of food very quickly, so. Hop over. Uh, we'll hop into you. There we go. Uh, we want to select the canola. So yeah, we should get about what 15 grams plus. So about yeah. 20 ish grand or so from this, so. Oh, wrong gear. <laughs> so, it should get about 20 grand. We'll buy some chicken feed, get the chickens fed, and then we'll call it an episode, I think. And there we go. So, we'll go and sell the canoe So, should be just shy of 20 grand we'll get. Something like that. Well, no, just over 20 grand actually. So, math is slightly off, but that ain't to worry about. And then, under pallets, we'll buy some chicken food. So soybeans, sorghum, so that's 45,000 years. <coughs> so that should be enough for us, and I do apologize for the coughing. Bit under the weather today, been working a lot on that, but hey, what needs to be done needs to be done at the end of the day, so Let's go and get this filled up. Shouldn't take too long. I think this has got a 45,000 capacity. Or something like that. So actually, you know, we could have a quick look. Uh, where is it? To own equipment. And traders. Where is that used to? Actually, where are the trays located? See, so yeah, we've got forge harvesters and that. Cedars, plows, forge wagons. But for some reason, our trader ain't shown up. Oh well. But yeah, we'll just get this filled up. And <laughs> So yeah, on the way back to the farm, and did have a quick look about why this wasn't popping up. Anyway, the capacity of this is about 45,000 days, give or take, and the reason for it wasn't showing our PDA is apparently the shop has discontinued selling this for some reason, so I'm not sure why that is, but because all PDA is all electronically linked to the shop on what they have offered to sell, yeah, I think for some reason something's got lost along the way, so that perhaps makes sense why we lost the access info to this, but you know what, at the end of the day I'm not too worried. We know what it is now. So we spent five grand on chicken feed. And yeah, could look at getting some more equipment. We've got the sprayer. There is a nice little tasty Kubota, but it's got the small engine, so. Oops, ooh, shizer. <laughs> yeah, 
did not mean to do that. <laughs> Don't look on your phone and drive, kids. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways. We could get, yeah. At some point we could do with having the fur tractor, but... Yeah, I just don't really see the point of it. I was thinking I should really do. One thing we actually need more is perhaps a fixed axle tree or so. Actually, what? Bear with me a sec. Let me swap tractors. Oh, there we go. As I was saying, we'll swap tractors now. We could do a very fixed axle trailer. Just for the little jobs like this, like feeding the animals. We don't need a massive trailer. Something that we could do is... Well, technically at the moment, what we could do is just get the bucket and... But how much would a decent... You know, decent, small, fixed axle trailer... No, not like that. For six grand, seventeen grand for. Thinking as as best as we're gonna get it. Even if it's just a standard twelve thousand years. See, so there's anything else. Any well, thirty grand. No, we're not looking at that. Get a small little tray like that for just over two grand. How much do the chickens actually hold? So if you look at our chickens. So about 10,000 litres each, so making a few trips. Yeah, I think I don't mind making a few extra trips, especially if it's just literally a few meters each way, but uh, can't be sport for choice I'm guessing. Thirty grand. So yeah we could look at something like this or go with the class one. Yes it doesn't really match the farming app but and you know what? For an extra two and a half grand, we could go with the big extension, but yeah, we could. And this is why I don't like swivel axles because I am absolutely dreadful at reversing these. We'll get you topped up. And then we'll go to you. So turn left, go right. So, just getting the rest of these chickens fed. And in terms of what they... I'm going to finish off, off off camera now. But in terms of what we're going to do next. What is next for us? Well, next episode we need to get this. And this mulched. And... Yeah, mulch and either cultivated or plow. We don't have a cultivator at the moment. But it could be something we could look at at some point. But the chickens, these are going to make us a lot of money. In terms with the five... Wait, wait, we've got one, two, three, four, five. I thought we had four greenhouses. Oh, okay, that's... How much do these greenhouses cost? Is it... Two grand these costed. Let's have a look here. Production greenhouses. So, yeah, we could look at getting another one, but I think five is enough for us at the moment. For here, we can look at getting some cow pens in. Well, either cows to breed. Yes, we can have cows get milk in that, but um, perhaps. Long term wise, just look at breeding cows, get some cows, in. not cows, <laughs> calves in, and just breed them again. It's just price of the animal pens. So we're looking at that's way too big, way too big. 
That's why we could go free range. You know, free range cows and that. Or here out something nowadays. And even then, we can put something now there. But yeah, not sure. But even then, something like that looks nice as well. You know, just put something like that there. Flush against the chicken pen. And of course, got to see all these dirt track marks. Yeah, this will change. But yeah, so a lot of the ahead. Feel free to comment down below if we want to see. Sort of break out the holes of roleplay aspect. This video will be out on the 21st. So that is tomorrow. On Thursday. It's the last episode should be out today. I've had that... Um, yeah, I've had that done for some time, but we've been ill with the hot weather we've been having here in the UK lately. Just haven't had time to proper edit the video, but I've, I've edited it. That should be out today. I am going to do some videos explaining where the channel is, where it's going, and all that other little details. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for it to do, hope everyone has to say. But for now, just to be far my voice stream, and I'll see you all very soon.